Question three asks us to sketch the asymptotes and the intercept with the axis. Oh, with the axis, okay. And um, we've already calculated the intercepts. We found that um, when x was zero, y was equal to negative one. That was the uh, y intercept. And the x intercept was when x, when y was zero, we found x to be positive one. So to draw those, we can just use the dot. Okay, y is zero, sorry, x is zero, y is equal to negative one there. And when x is, when y is zero, x is equal to positive one. Okay, let's just do it exactly, there we go. And then the next is the asymptotes. Now the asymptotes is where x and y is not allowed, what x and y is not allowed to be. Okay, so we can see in my denominator, x plus one may not be equal to zero. If it is equal to zero, we are dividing with, um, uh, our answer is actually undefined. So that means x may not be equal to, subtract a one on both sides, um, which means x may not be equal to negative one. Okay, so at negative one, we are going to have x equal to negative one, we are going to have an asymptote. Okay, what can y not be? So um, if y can take any value, what is the value that it cannot take? Well, we know that this fraction cannot be zero. A fraction can never be zero if the numerator is not zero. So the numerator isn't zero. So we have x, this thing will never be equal to zero. That's not exactly what y, that's what fx is, what y is equal to, okay? Uh, we need to add another one here to get the, the expression on the right hand side. Okay, so if we add a one on both sides, we see here, this is y, and y can never be equal to, zero plus one is one. So y can never be equal to one, that means, oh, that at one, let's make a straight line. There we go. And there are the two asymptotes as well as the intercepts. The next part of this question asks us, the next part of this question asks us and select the correct shape of the graph. Okay, so what shape will this graph take? Well, we should note that this is a hyperbola. And the hyperbola either looks like this or it looks like this, where it tends to its asymptotes here in the center. Okay, so which one will be ours? Well, this is the positive shape when it's on the positive of y and positive x or on the negative and negative. This one is the negative when it's on the positive side of x and negative side of y or the negative positive, sorry, the positive side of y and the negative side of x or the positive side of x and the negative side of y. Okay, so we have a negative to numerator which uh, means we're going to have this negative shape. Let's just see if we can see that negative shape. Here we go. This is our negative shape, and we select that shape. That's the end of question three.